hi and welcome to the session today we will learn about integers first of all let us see what are negative numbers numbers with a negative sign are less than 0 these numbers are called negative numbers for example minus 5 minus 11 minus 15 are all negative numbers Now let's see what are integers. Now we already know that the collection of numbers one, two, three, four, and so on are called natural numbers. Now if we include zero with the collection of natural numbers, that is zero, one, two, three. four and so on then they are known as whole numbers and if we add the collection of negative numbers with the collection of whole numbers that is 0 1 2 3 4 and so on with the negative numbers minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on then This collection is known as integers. Now in this collection the integers 1 2 3 4 and so on are said to be positive integers. And the integers minus -1 minus -2 minus -3 minus -4 and so on are said to be negative integers. Now our next topic is representation of integers on a number line. First of all let us draw a line. Now mark a point 0 on it. Also mark some points at equal distance on both sides of 0 like this. Now points to the right of 0 are positive integers and are marked as plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on or simply 1 2 3 4 and so on and the points on the left of 0 are negative integers and are marked as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on Now if we want to mark the point minus 7 on the number line then we will move seven points on the left of 0 so here we have minus 4 then here we'll have minus 5 minus 6 and minus 7 so this is the point minus 7 and if we want to mark a point 3 on the number line then we will move three points on the right of 0 so here we are the point 3 now let's move on to ordering of integers here we have a number 9 and we know that 7 is greater than 5 and from the number 9 we can observe that 7 is on the right of 5 also 5 is greater than 0 and from the number line we have that 5 is on the right of 0 now 0 is on the right of minus 4 
This implies that 0 is greater than minus 4. Also, minus 4 is on the right of minus 9. So, from this we can see that minus 4 is greater than minus 9. So, from this we conclude that on the number 9, The number increases as we move to the right and decreases as we move to the left. Therefore, Minus 3 is less than minus 2. Minus 2 is less than minus 1. Minus 1 is less than 0. 0 is less than 1. 1 is less than 2. 2 is less than 3 and so on. So, the collection of integers can be written as minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, then 0, then positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, according to their order. Now let's see what is the successor of a number. 1 more than the given number gives a successor for example successor of 5 will be equal to 1 more than 5 that is 6 also the successor of minus 5 will be 1 more than minus 5 and that will be minus 4. Now we will move on to the predecessor of a number. 1 less than the given number gives a predecessor. For example, predecessor of 5 will be 1 less than 5, that is 4, and predecessor of minus 5 will be 1 less than minus 5, that is minus 6. So in this session we have learnt what are negative numbers, integers, representation of integers on a number line, ordering of integers, what is the successor and predecessor of a number. With this we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.